place and on the go. Come, let us go the other way in learning. Download our revolutionary app for free AMC. Before discussing the last question, now everyone listen to this carefully, sir. This is something which you need definitely need to know it. Suppose, suppose for example, I have 24 rupees in my pocket finally. My final value is 24 rupees. My final value is 24 rupees. Now, just to tell you, sir, Ravi Kumar, Rahul, all those people, any other approach to this sum, you will find multiple approach, the, but I think the whatever the method which I applied is the best approach, sir. Okay, now, let us come back to this. Suppose, for example, I have 24 rupees in my pocket finally. My final value is 24 rupees. Suppose, for example, I had 8 rupees in my pocket initially. Right, I had 8 rupees in my pocket initially. So, can I say that I had 8 rupees, but finally I have 24 rupees. That means there is an increase. Your question is, how much increase is happening? Express that increase in terms of percentage. Your textbooks will give a formula. Final minus initial divided by initial into 100 percentage. Suppose if I apply this formula, finally 24 initial is 8 divided by initial is 8 into 100 percentage. 24 minus 8 is 16. 16 by 8 is 2. 2 into 100 percentage is 200 percentage. Percentage increase is 200 percentage. Right? Percentage increase is 200 percentage. Now, instead of doing all these things and wasting our time in the examination, listen to this carefully. Everyone listen to this carefully, sir. Final value is 24. Initial value is 8. Can I say that this final value 24 can be written as some constant 3 into initial value 8. In this example, the constant is 3. That means can I write it as 24 is the final value, 3 is some constant, 8 is initial value. Right? 8 is initial value. Very, very, very important point. If, if final value is equal to k times the initial value. If final value is equal to k times the initial value, then percentage increase is directly given by k minus 1 into 100 percentage. Very, very important point. If final value is k times the initial value, percentage increase is directly given by k minus 1 into 100 percentage. If you want, check it out in this question. In this example, k value is 3. So, if I substitute, this becomes 3 minus 1 into 100 percent. 3 minus 1 is 2. 2 into 100 percent is 200 percent. That is what I got here also. Very, very, very important point, sir. If final value is k times the initial value, percentage increase is directly given by k minus 1 into 100 percentage. Right? k minus 1 into 100 percentage. Now, listen to this carefully. We will come back to this point in another 5 minutes of time. But let, let, let me draft a question for you people. See here, sir. This kind of questions has come many a times in the exam. You can refer and check it out in Google. Which examination, which year, all those things, you will get the information. Now, see here. Suppose, suppose this is the question. A certain sum becomes 7 times in 18 years. That means, can I say that I had some money with me. That money, I will call it as P. That certain sum I had, that I will call it as P. That principal P, it finally becomes, finally becoming is nothing but amount. It becomes amount. How much, how many times it becomes? 7 times in 18 years. That means, some money I had initially, that money became 7 times of itself in 18 years. That means, that finally became 7 times of itself. That is referred as amount. In how many years it is? It is in 18 years. Right? It is in 18 years. Now, your question is, in how many years, in how many years will it become 13 times under SI? It should become 13 times under SI in how many years is the question. Now, amount. 
amount in simple interest is given by the notation principal into 1 plus TR percentage. If I substitute amount is 7P principal into 1 plus T is 18 into R percentage. If I simplify this, P will get cancelled. 7 minus 1 is 6. 6 is equal to 18 R percentage. R percentage is 6 by 18. 6 by 18 is 1 by 3. Right? It is 1 by 3. Again, apply the same logic here. Amount is principal into 1 plus TR percentage. Amount is 13 times principal. Principal into 1 plus T I don't know. R percent is 1 by 3. T into 1 by 3 is T by 3. If I simplify, P will get cancelled. 13 minus 1 is 12. 12 is equal to T by 3. So, T should be how much? 3 into 12. What should be the answer? 36 years. Right? Answer for this question is 36 years. But, you are using a formula one time in this case. You are using the same formula another time in this case. And you are wasting too much of space, too much of effort, too much of time. Which is not at all required for a competitive examination. I hope why I cancelled you should be very very clear. This is not the method which we want to implement and teach students who are listening all over India sir. We are not interested with such kind of methodology. Now, listen to this carefully. Listen to this carefully. Again, I will draft the question for you people. Listen to this carefully. How very easily you can solve the question. It's all about knowing the concept. That is something which is lacking in most of the students, which I want it to be very, very clear. Now, see here, sir. Before I solve this problem by using method 2, observe carefully. Just two minutes before I discuss the concept, that concept says, if final value is k times the initial value then the percentage increase is directly given by k minus 1 into 100 listen to my statements once again i am saying that if it is k times times is nothing but multiplication if it is k times then my answer is k minus 1 into 100 again i am repeating if it is k times if it is k times then my answer is K minus 1 into 100 percentage. Now listen to this carefully, sir. Question says, a certain sum becomes 7 times. If it is K times, if it is K times, it is K minus 1 into 100 percentage. Right? If it is K times, it is K minus 1 into 100 percentage. If it is 7 times, it is 7 minus 1 into 100 percentage. That means it is 600 percentage. A certain sum becomes 600 percentage in how many years? 18 years. Your question is, in how many years will it become 13 times under SI? If it is K times, it is K minus 1. If it is 13 times, it is 13 minus 1 into 100 percentage. It will become 1200 percentage in how many years? 600 is becoming 1200. Multiply by 2. 18 also multiply by 2. What should be the answer? 36 years. This is a method which implies only two steps. This is a method which makes use of the formula two times. Please avoid using formula. Any place and on the go. Come, let us go.
through the other way in learning. Download our Revolution Study app for free AMC.